a little hot. <laughs> I have this fan, that fan, and my AC's on, so I am... It's not cool in Eva Beach today. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great, lovely day. So this past week Sunday, I went to the Mauna Kea March in Waikiki, and let me tell you, it was amazing. It really was amazing. It was phenomenal. <laughs> Before I get started with explaining how I felt about the march and how it made me feel, this and that, I'm gonna show you the clips and a little edit that I did. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Here it is. I want to tell all of you right now, I'm a whitewashed Hawaiian, okay? I say that, um, shamefully. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna try and front. I'm sorry if I say something wrong, I'm sorry if I don't explain something correctly, I'm gonna try my best. If any of you guys don't know what's happening on Mauna Kea, Mauna Kea, first of all, is a sacred land, it's a sacred mountain. It, like, it's sacred, I know that. And basically, Governor Ige wants to build a 30 meter telescope on top of Mauna Kea. That's a no-no, every Hawaiian knows, don't be touching sacred ground, don't even be touching rocks, like. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna explain this well whatsoever, so I'm going to put a link in the description and pop it up on the screen so you guys can read more about it. What I just explained was just like scratching the surface of what's happening. It goes like a lot deeper. Not everybody's protesting from Mauna Kea. We're trying to make sure there ain't gonna be no 30 meter built telescope. And that's the tea to the march. So I'm gonna say this, I've never been surrounded by so many Hawaiian people in my entire life. Ever. As I left the parking structure, you know you saw a couple people here and there leaving the parking structure. But when you got into the main marching road, so we marched from Fort Derusi all the way to the zoo. When I got into that main marching road, all I seen was Hawaiian flags lining the streets. And I could not even see the end of it. As we were marching, you know, just being surrounded by so many Hawaiian people. Being surrounded by people who believe in the same thing. Yep. But yet we're total strangers. Was such an amazing thing to me. There was so much power. And all of us marching together, I felt like we were, like, unified. Like, I felt like we were one. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but, like, that's honestly how it felt. I don't know how else to put it in words. I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm trying my best right now. Because we're all marching and fighting for one thing that we believe in. And it's, like, it just brought everybody together just to see, like, children, teenagers, adults, grandparents. Like, it was, it was crazy. To see that one cause can bring so many people together and just the power that it has when we all come together is just amazing. Like, it felt so phenomenal to me. And I felt so good marching besides every single person there. As we were marching, you just felt, like, the power just go through white. Kiki, which is just go through the street, you know? And as we were all marching, all you saw was like all the haoli's, like the tourists, all just like recording us with their phones. Like I kind of felt bad for some of the tourists because I feel like they were kind of scared. There was this one lady where she was sitting down. She was sitting down like this, under the palm tree, living her best Hawaii life. She's like this, looking around, and she turns, and she sees everybody marching towards her, and all you see is like freak out, grab her stuff, like she was about to get trampled on. <laughs> It was hilarious, it really was, and I was like, damn, I was like, okay, we're not gonna run you over, but <laughs> thanks for moving. <laughs> Mauna Kea isn't only getting support from all the other islands, but it's also getting support all over the world. California, Germany, I also seen Germany. Germany is in the fold in this situation. I believe The Rock just arrived on Mauna Kea the other day. Jason Momoa, he didn't go to Mauna Kea, but he is supporting it on the white on his Instagram, on his platform. Natalie Emmanuel. Literally, whenever I go anywhere, all I see is either Hawaiian flags upside down. An upside down Hawaiian flag means distress. A bunch of signs and people like supporting with their signs and I'm like, this is amazing. Like just the support of it is like, it 
It's crazy. Kukia Imana means guardians of the mountain. So on a lot of the signs and cars and stuff, you'll see Kukia Imana. So when we were marching in Waikiki, a lot of the yelling that you heard was Kukia Imana, Kukia Imana, Ayo. A lot of people would yell it back and forth. I've always been proud to be Hawaiian. Okay, like I'm Hawaiian, Chinese, and Italian. Hawaiian was always the one where I was most proud of. After going to that march, it makes me want to learn more about the Hawaiian language, more about my culture because like I just want to be fully immersed in it. You know, like I don't know anything about it. And then now that I have been to the march and I'm like, wow, like I want to get to know everything about the culture, you know, because I don't know much about it. You know, I know the basic Louis Okalani got like imprisoned in her palace, businessmen took over, um, it was illegally annexed. Yeah, I was like, I'm proud to be Hawaiian, but yeah, I don't know any of these things. And it's kind of, I kind of feel shame. I kind of feel like shameful saying that. My mom even said the same thing when I went to the marsh. She said, there's gonna be a whole lot of Hawaiian language there, this and that. And I told her, I get it, I'm a whitewashed Hawaiian, but at the end of the day, I'm there and I'm supporting. And that's just how I felt. It brought me closer to wanting to learn more about my culture and more about myself. That's just how I felt during the march, how I felt after the march, how I felt now, and I'm proud of it, so... Yeah! <laughs> um, but I believe that is my video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Fukia Imauna, and yeah, have a great night there, whatever you guys are having, and I'll see you later.